All right, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. We are here in the Gashawk. T. Uh, I actually saw this plane the other day. I did a plane spotting. I saw this similar or maybe same exact model, and uh, that will be up on the plane spotting on the shorts if you want to check that out sometime this week. But uh, in the meantime, we're checking out the Gashawk updates. They have updated this plane. They have fixed a couple different things, like uh, when you close the canopy the foot retracts the engine sounds is a big one um supposedly they redone the inside and out and fixed a lot of internal modeling lighting and a bunch of other features so today we're just gonna basically take this out for a little bit of flight try to land on the aircraft carrier we're in the um keys in florida here so we'll go ahead and get inside the aircraft start it up take it for a little bit of a test flight see how it flies see how it handles and uh see what we could tell um the difference of the aircraft so fuel shut off is down and lock position okay if i could remember how to start this up that would be fantastic uh display power normal position okay so we start from this side i believe so right so we put this down put that on put this on right if i could remember this this would be a uh, that's a uh, set switch. Uh, I do have it written down, so I'm just going over it. Standby trim in the guarded position. Okay, normal, right? Mm -hmm. Thrust is uh, right here, so just crack it a little bit there. Anti skid. Uh, it doesn't say anything. Oh yeah, anti skid can come on, and. Uh, Emergency flap in the normal position, check. Um, launch bar is retracted. Where's our launch bar? I think it's uh, right here. Yeah, retracted, okay. Emergency gear down handle, okay. Is checked, gear down, lever is down, check. Um, master arm is in the safe position. Where's the master arm? That should be up here somewhere. Master arm, safe, oh, safe position, check. Okay, master arm, uh, let me gear down, master sound, VCRSM is off. Flight instruments are checked. Um, Halo is off, MFD is off, cabin pressure is checked. Radios are off. Pilot heat is off. Hook standby over this side is up. Uh, hook is up. Nav is off. Batteries are off. Check. Okay. Reset. Um, let's see. Reset on to center position. What is this? Let's get rid of that there. Okay. So... Reset to center, on to center position. Regen. Where's regen? I don't know where the regen is. It's somewhere over here. Regen. Okay, cool. Regen set. Um, lights, we got to turn on to let people know we're about to... Turn the aircraft on. Battery switches can come on now. One and two. Power. Power. Okay. Seat, uh, seat has been adjusted. Fuel quantity is checked. Um, avionics uh, master panel. This uh, here is checked. Okay. Uh, fire warning lights are on oxygen on so all these are on and checked HAD press pressure is O okay that's checked flaps are set down which the flaps are set down as you can see here check all right <sighs> 
brake pressure is 1250. <laughs> okay, where's the brake pressure? Check. All right, uh, flaps are set down. Um, landing gear is selected down, three green. Landing gear, where's the landing gear? Oh, yeah, a three green. Okay, check. Engine start up. Um, okay, so we push the thrust in. Wait for that thing to come up. Stabilizing. And switch the engine to start on position. All right, switch engine to on. Wait for it to come up to 14%. Oxygen. Check. Main thrust power. Position and wait for engine to spool up. Next, turn on the oxygen flow, which we just did. Switch master oxygen on. Master oxygen, I think, is. Where's the master oxygen? I think that is the master option in there. Yeah. Okay, that's on. Alright, we can turn uh, this on. MFDs can come on. is going to be and the right one will be okay set radios can come on so you got two radio stacks here just click it will take a minute coming on and that should be going on shortly too. Here it goes. Okay, radios are on. I uh, SF system is standby. All right, now um, did that. I go to the next page here. Check system power up to 70% throttle. Okay, check. Light is off in the power plant. Okay. Trim are checked and in the right position. Rudder in the normal position, trim up three degrees. Let's trim up three degrees. Okay, trims up three degrees. Okay, um, flight instruments are checked. Altimeter is set. Let's go ahead and uh, put on real weather and we'll set the altimeter. By pressing V. Okay, now we'll go to this here and we'll set that to zero and enter. And then we'll set this to 1000 feet. Or 1,000 pounds, right? Oh, bingo fuel weight. Um, bingo fuel weight, 1,000. Okay, 
so it's at 900. Set it to 1000, enter. Low to uh, flight controls check on the panel. Okay. Flight instrument control, close up the canopy. That's retracting. Very nice. All right, that's retracted. Flaps set for takeoff, so uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Speed brake retracted. Check. Pedo heat uh, is on. Caution, master caution lights, check, ready for taxi, all right, seat belt, okay, Parking brake. Let's see and check the switch and go all around. Anti skid should be on, right? Yeah, anti skid is on. Let's reset it. Trim sleevers up. Canopy is closed. Okay. We should be good now. Alright. That should be the brakes and the anti skid. Alright. So far, so good. Check and make sure I didn't skip anything here. They still got that noise for the taxi light. Go flying. Navy Key Ground Liberty 757 request taxi for takeoff straight out departure. Taxi hold short runway 26 using taxiway hotel cross runway 22 Golf Fox Trot Liberty 757. We're gonna take out right here. Nuts. A little bit rough on that, huh? Miami approach Liberty seven five seven is type one mile southwest. That actually sounds good. Zero five six six. All right. I'm not sure what this is. We forgot something. 
That's how she gets it on. Aha! That's what I forgot. Okay. Now we're good. Alright, let's go flying. Let's look for that ship. They said they improved the uh, flight characteristics and aid run, so it definitely feels way more responsive than before. A lot better. Way more responsive. Oh yeah. Feels a lot better. It moves uh, a lot easier, a lot nicer. I don't know where that, uh, let's see where the, that ship is, somewhere over here. It sounds okay, I mean, it doesn't sound too impressive, but I think that's true to real life, like, uh, it is just a trainer. Super cool aircraft, though. We're gonna bring it around here, let's see what it got. Let's see what happens. How, how fast we can get this thing to go. 320 knots. Definitely fun to handle. 400 knots. There's the ship out there. Going a heck of a lot faster than it did before. Four hundred seventy knots. Here's the ship that we're going to be landing on. Can we make it, is the question. I don't know. Let's try to get some flaps in. Put that hook down. Gear down. Speed brakes retracted. This is going to be uh, not easy for sure. Let's see. Can we do it? A little bit low. This could go right or it could go wrong. 130. Looks it looks like we're on target here. 130. Come on, baby. Oh. Alright. Success. Very nice. We did it. We landed on an aircraft carrier. No. That's pretty cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, retract the hook. Hopefully that releases us. And we'll go ahead and taxi. go up here and uh, try to get shot off the front of the aircraft. Alright, so uh, we landed. Now let's see if we can take off. I do like this trainer. It's a really cool aircraft. So our hook's up, everything's good. 
what we're going to do is line ourselves up with this uh, steam hook here and get shot off the front of the aircraft carrier. Okay, let's get a thumbnail before we get shot off the front of the aircraft carrier. Alright, now that we did the cringe part of the video, we'll go ahead and uh, put the front hook down, hold the brakes. Okay, power up. And... Release. Miami approach Liberty Seven Five Seven is type one miles. We did hit. That was fun. Request flight following. Flaps are up. Squawk zero two one six Liberty Seven Five Seven. Wow, that's the first time I did that without Roger, screwing Liberty it up. Seven five seven. Super cool. All right, let's go back to uh, Key West and uh, land this plane. I would have to say they definitely did a really good job with it. It feels a lot more stable. Um, let's check out the lights at night. They said they fixed that and a couple bugs in the aircraft as well. So uh, I don't know how to turn on the lights. I guess the panel lighting is back here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it doesn't look bad. Definitely looks nice. Okay. Alright, we're going to bring it down for a landing here. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn back around. We're about 5,000 feet and a little bit too fast. I'll put on the speed brake and bring us back around here. Gear coming back down. Flap set for landing. Speed uh, decreasing. Speed brakes are still out. We're going to land about 130 knots here. Put those speed brakes back in. I think it's not bad. It flies a lot better. It feels much more um, agile. Definitely uh, easier to handle and control. And I think they did a good job. If you guys have this plane and you checked out the update, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. As always, I appreciate it. Uh, but I, I have to say, overall, it's not bad at all, in my opinion. I find it... Uh, to be very nice, very stable. Okay. Flaps 
coming back up. There you have it. The T-45 Gas Hawk. Nice aircraft, sounds good, flies good. Definitely feels like it's improved. Um, I didn't crash it this time, so that's definitely a good sign that they did something right. If they made it easier for me, they made it easier for everyone. Let's go ahead and uh, get off the runway here. And it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. I thought that was the taxiway, but... Well, we'll just stop it here. I don't want to waste too much time on the video. But, uh, yeah, definitely a cool aircraft. Super fun to fly. Handles very nicely. That's the lighting. Very cool training military aircraft. And, uh, I would say, yeah, it's definitely improved a lot. So, uh... Let's shut off the engines and anti-skid is off. Let's see if we can shut off the engine. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Gas Hawk. What a beautiful aircraft. Fun to fly. Handles good. I think uh, definitely worth it. If you guys didn't pick it up, you should definitely do so. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sounds like somebody's flying around here somewhere. That's not us. I don't know what that was. Unless that's a glitch in the plane. Anyway, uh, thank you guys again for watching this video. Until next time, you know. God bless you. I'll see you guys in the next review or update, whatever comes out next. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are of this aircraft in the comments. And again, I just want to thank each and every one of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.